So I'm reading this book on top financial advisors and what they do, and you might be thinking, financial advisors? Well, top financial advisors are very good at sales and marketing and putting that all together, so there's a lot to learn from that. And they're looking at the top of the top financial advisors, and what these guys do is they go after the top clients. They don't have tons and tons of clients, but they have clients that are very high end and they can offer a lot of services to. And one of the things that repeatedly comes up with all these top financial advisors is they, they talk about how it took years and years for them to cultivate some of the best relationships that they got. Eventually it was you know five, sometimes even 10 years down the road before this person that was a really high net worth person became a client, right? So it's really important to have that long-term focus when you're in sales and really foster those kinds of relationships, get in areas, get in groups where there's your ideal clients. A lot of these people were doing nonprofit work. They're getting on the boards of these nonprofits and it was a great way for them to get exposure in their community and to other people who were of high net worth, right? So you can do that in whatever field you're in as well. Just get in those groups communicate, socialize, get out there, build those relationships, and that is really a good way to get those huge long-term relationships down the road. So you gotta have that long-term focus. That is the name of the game. Have that long-term focus, and I'll see you on the next howtokickassinsales.com tip of the day.